Okay, this is an instructional video on how to advance the, the timing for more power on your 89 through 93 Dodge Ram Cummins. The first thing you are going to want to do is get a big drill bit on a drill and drill out this hole right here. Now, from the factory, there will already be like a little hole there, but drill it out big enough so your hook for your ratchet strap can go through that hole. My my hook is really thick, so I had to drill the hole pretty big. Okay, you're gonna need a um, a 12 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter wrench, and the 13 millimeter wrench has to be in S wrench like this, so you can get to the bottom nuts to hold your injection pump on, because you're because we're just gonna loosen them. So you're going to need a 13 millimeter S wrench and mine happens to have a 12 millimeter on the other end. So I can get the banjo bolt with that and take off the boost tube and then I could flip it around the other way and get the nuts to hold the injection pump on. And you're, so a ratchet strap, block of wood, drill the hole, a 12 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter S wrench or a half moon wrench. They're available from Harbor Freight. You also need a 10 millimeter wrench, preferably 12 point, to get to the bottom nut holding on the injection pump. Okay, so to advance the timing on the V injection pump, you have to loosen up the four bolts to hold the injection pump on. Now with my flashlight, I'm going to try to show you where they are. There's a bolt right there. You can see the head of it. Like right there. Look where the light's moving. Okay. There's a bolt right there. I mean, a nut, I'm sorry. That's very obvious. And then there's one that is the pain in the butt nut that is right there. Now, it's not the one on top. It's the one that has my chrome socket on it. Um, you can see the reflection coming off of the socket right there. It's Okay, and then there's one tucked down way underneath of here. And you're going to have to feel it. You're going to have to feel for it with your fingers. So if you can use the S wrench for the nut down there, the nut right there, and the nut right there, you can all use the S wrench for. This one up here is a pain in the butt, and I couldn't get the S wrench on it. So what I did was I took two quarter inch extensions, like pretty decent long ones, okay? I hooked them together and put a 13 millimeter quarter inch drive socket on the end, as you can see, it's shiny. And then I used a 3.8 drive to quarter inch adapter so I, I can use the leverage of, of the bigger ratchet. Hooked it all up, there's my ratchet handle, okay? Um, there's my extension running through there and there's where it hooks to the nut I already got it loose I'm just gonna leave it there and hope that when I move the pump it doesn't come off because I don't feel like having to fish it uh, back up through there again because it's a pain in the butt so loosen up the remaining three uh, down there there and um, the one that's tucked up underneath of there and the, and the it's what I call the black hole. It's really hard to get to. We'll loosen them up and then remove the boost tube. Remove the boost tube right here. Yeah, that tube. Remove that and if you watch my other video, you'll know that there's two nuts that come out of here that you have to catch in your hand. If you lose them, that'll really suck. Okay, so the nut holding the injection pump to the timing case that I said is hard to, is hard to get to, that is in the black hole. I have the wrench on it right now, so you can see about where the wrench is going to be if you're using an S wrench. It's pretty far back up in there, and it sits in like a little tunnel, and you just got to feel around. And eventually it'll just lock on, especially if you're using a 12-point wrench. It won't be that hard to find. Uh, so that's what it'll look like. And maybe get two turns unloosened on it. Uh, maybe even one, I'm not sure. I'm going to see. 
and uh, then that one should be good. Okay, so I got the nut loose that is in the black hole. Uh, I had to back it off about three turns until I was comfortable that it wasn't uh, putting too much pressure on the pump. So this nut over here on this plate right here is not 13 millimeter like I thought. On an intercooled truck, uh, 91 and a half to 93, it seems to be 10 millimeter. So put your 10 millimeter wrench on that nut and back it off. Okay, take your 12 millimeter wrench and remove the banjo bolt just like I did in the other video right here. Remove that. Okay, now we're ready to start cracking. Okay, so I got my ratchet strap hooked up on this end, and here's the ratchet. Okay, I got a 4x4 four four, uh, piece of wood laying on top of the valve cover. And if you have a non intercooled truck that doesn't have the uh, valve cover cover on it, then there will be little nuts sticking up like this one. And you'll have to, you might have to put the wood like this, but either way it'll work as long as the strap is a, a few inches above the valve cover so it doesn't rub on it. Um, got the other end of the hook right here. Run it over top of the piece of wood like so and hook it. I like to hook it right about there on the pump. So you can see the bottom of the hook and make sure it's good and secure. It, it won't really try to move and mine has the rubber coating on the hook so uh, it'll it'll actually grip a little bit better but anyway let's get right down to business here um, I'm just gonna uh, start cranking on the ratchet and meanwhile you gotta make sure that this hook is stays on there And um, you look down here, and you'll see little marks. You can probably see the marks. I can see them on the screen. But those marks should be lined up from the factory. We're going to go an eighth of an inch. So you want to, obviously, we're moving the pump uh, counterclockwise, if you're looking from this way. and clockwise if you're looking from this way yeah so make sure the marks they should be lined up from the factory you don't even have to make sure like so get a rule or a measuring tape and you want the mark on the injection pump to go an eighth of an inch above the mark on the timing case which is this part here um, and then that means it's an eighth inch bump Okay, so I just got done advancing the pump at an eighth of an inch, and uh, you can see that the line on the injection pump is about an eighth inch above the line on the timing case, and that means you're done. All right, so before you uh, take off the ratchet strap and everything, tighten up the four nuts first, because what will happen is if you undo the ratchet strap without without tightening everything up there's so much force on the injection pump going the other way like this way because of you know the return line the six injection lines uh, the main feed line so tighten up the four hold downs on the pump down here and there's the th three nuts um, tighten them up first and then undo the ratchet strap so you're sure the pump will stay exactly where you have it and I even hooked up I even hooked the uh, boost tube uh, back up. You have to twist that a little bit, um, but I mean it's it's thin and like you can twist. It. I mean it's not going to snap if you just move it slow. Don't move it too much, you know. And uh, that's done. So you can undo the ratchet strap now. Um, loosen it up. You can hear there was a lot of force on that sucker. And uh, now you can see that the gap between the cylinder head and the injection pump really closed up. And everything still looks good down here. The line's about an eighth of an inch above. Um, I didn't measure it, but I've done this like two or three times, so like I can pretty much rough it. And um, yeah, that's it.